that one just move towards me? What? <gasps> in this one, I'll drive my car into a very mysterious place and experience some supernatural dangers, but it's actually kind of chill, mostly. So grab your favorite snacks and a road trip playlist, and let's take an early look at Pacific Drive. The game isn't out until the end of Feb, but the publishers have sent me this early preview, so let's take a look, and thank you to them. Cool shotgun in the comments, and let me know what your road trip essentials are, and let's begin. In 1947, the Olympic Peninsula became the staging ground for a promising new technology. As rumors of its utopian creations spread, so did stories about overnight evacuations, unsolved disappearances, and unnatural encounters. In 1955, the government walled off a section of the peninsula to establish the Olympic Exclusion Zone. For 30 years, the zone's borders grew until the government withdrew and sealed every access point. What happened inside was never disclosed. Until now? Until now? Uh, instantly reminded of what remains of Edith Finch with that sort of fairy scene there. Stay on the roads, order form. Okay. The Olympic Peninsula, 1998, what a year. Take me back, south of the barrier wall. Alright, I'm in my car. Looks very nice. Have a little look in the back there. Oh, hello. Me driving, what could possibly go wrong? Everyone knows that I'm a wonderful driver in video games. This is nice. Are we going to see the Cullens? Where are we? Wait, where actually where are we? Am I on the left side or the right side of the road here? I'm gonna assume the left hand side of the road. Dun, dun, dun. Look out for those rocks. Wow, beautiful lights. I mean, I could probably just drive down the middle of the road. I'm the only one here, right? I would assume. You guys know that song. I like driving in my car. Bing, bing, bong, bong, bing, 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 bing. <gasps> Wipers. Okay, this is now ASMR. 12 hours. Softly driving. I actually love the sound of... I mean, I love the sound of rain, but I love the sound of, like, the hum of being in a car. And I feel like we all have that, where it's this kind of memory of being in the back of a car, going back from somewhere late and falling asleep. You know, lying down in the back of the car, the street lights overhead, sort of like... Shoo, 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 through the windows, with your eyelids closed... It's such a comfy, nostalgic memory. One that I feel most people probably have. I don't know, let me know if you have it in a comment. And, um... As people know, I have my Bedtime Story podcast, and I want to try and do something with that. I want it to be like a bedtime story whilst you're in the back of the car. And just the sound of the car, that mm, kind of drone... Whilst I read a story to you. Anyway, that's called Down to Sleep, and it's on Spotify and everywhere you get podcasts. And it's got two YouTube channels, so you know, you can find those below. Let me know if you think that would sound nice. Toggle headlights. Okay. In a tunnel. Warning, high 
RL High R levels facility extreme caution advised. Yeah, we'll be fine. This doesn't look ominous at all. Warning. Ah, you know, we've read enough warnings for today. Let's just keep going, eh? We don't need no warnings. Roads. Where we're going, we don't need roads. You know that reference? We can be friends. Hello. What's that? Wait. Are we seeing things crawling or stuff disappearing? My mind playing tricks on me. The rocks are disappearing. Oh, okay. Maybe I should have read the warning sign. If I'm ever in this situation in real life, you can bet your bottom dollar that when we get to the other side, I'm going to pull. Guys, where are we? Just because, you know, how many films has that been in? And when will you ever get a chance to say it? Ever. You got to. <laughs> okay. Well, we're not in Kansas anymore. Or that. Or you've got to drop that one. The Olympic Exclusion Zone. Got sucked into a portal. Find transportation. We can sprint. I'm, I'm already sold on the vibe of this game, honestly. I'm loving it. I love mysterious vibes, man. Like, give me X-Files, give me Fringe, give me Lost all day long. I've never seen Twin Peaks, I should probably watch it. Since it's kind of the original, right? I wonder which, if I go up to see what this is, or if I go back that way. That's just a sewer, okay. Crouch. There's always a crouch. See a car. Hello? Someone out there? Hello? Huh. What a swan. Uh, Is that mind. Francis, the radar's acting up again. You were supposed to tune up this piece of junk years ago. Hello? What am I... Is that me talking or some sort of, like, echo of a memory or something? Put the wheel back on. Okay. Where is the wheel? Pick up. Okay, we hold to pick up. Install summer tire. Alright. This isn't my car, but it'll do. Start the engine. Get to safety. It's back! It's back! This is Tobias Barlow and Francis Cook, located in mid zone sector B. Do you read me? I'm picking up your distress signal in the outer zone. It looks like you're somewhere around sector E. I'm guessing I do this. Come here! Yeah! I know how to drive, dude. Something is out there. Good. Be smart, Bar. Hey, hey, we got a live one. Hey, do you copy? Hello. 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 Hello.
Hello. Hello. It's actually rolling back. There, you That's can, so cool. I've got to siphon fuel. What will I put it in? How do I siphon fuel? You have to suck it, right? Don't I need a hose? Oh wait, it says check your trunk for a fuel can. Well, I don't have a fuel can. Maybe it's in this car. Trunk of this one. Drive east of check your trunk for a fuel can. Well, it's I did it fall out. Oh, what? Sure, that makes sense. Siphon fuel from broken down car. Oh, I've got a pump. There we go. No suck necessary. Okay, so we're going to run out of fuel. So we'll have to stop at cars and siphon. Let's pop this back in. Oh, sorry. Let's look right at it. Okay. What's happening here? Hello? That's not good. Uh... Switch on. Pick up the backpack from the table. Oh, God. Who's there? Oh, the shop. Oh, God, there's been breach. You've got five seconds to get the hell out before I. Ow! Oh, my head. Uh, it's an emergency broadcast. Hello, uh, attention. This message is for Dr. Ophelia Turner, who sent a breach into your garage on um, official zone business. Now, we have it on very good authority 
that this person is in possession of a remnant, which has taken the form of a car. Best and, and, well, uh... Oh. Get off the remnant thing. She's not gonna care. Um, uh, right, like I said, super officials own business. Protocol, uh, demands that you keep them alive until we can get them to safety. Now, if you do not comply, I will occupy this broadcast channel with a recitation of the entire collection of poems I've personally written that's 10 years and 17 volumes and... Tell her that voice, because she's like a nail gun to the skull. So, <laughs> another breacher, huh? <sighs> How do you outsiders not understand that Arda didn't build Where is that voice coming from? meter wall out there for fun? Unless you're one of the unfortunates who got zapped through. Wait, I just remembered. I don't give a damn why or how you got here. You're trespassing and I'd kindly like you to get the hell out of my zone. Pick up the mechanic's eye headset. <sighs> Oh, okay, here we go. Just trying to get in as it is against anyone or anything. Try to leave. We have to find you where. Well. Finally. So you might as well start by fixing up that card. Don't break anything in my shop with those soft hands of yours. Oh. Tire. You take that inside. So I'm going to be fixing my car up. I'm working my way through the zone. Is that right? I guess I gotta park the car in the slot. I thought there was music playing and it was just the wipers. Okay. Let me pull around here. The car's pretty busted. Me if I don't reverse. Uh. Oh, I should probably turn it off, right? That's how cars work. Um, get in. There we go. All right, let's get involved. I guess I probably need to put a new wheel on. There we go. That's why we were so slow. Uh, replace the car door. Add to your to-do list. Crude door. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought that was repairing it. Let's see if we can find a door somewhere. Maybe off of this old car. a little bit busted, doesn't it? Do I need to add it to my to-do list? Is like, literally click it? Okay, there's crafting as well. Battery jumper, electrician's kit, crude door. Ah, maybe I'm going to craft one. Scrap metal, plastic, duct tape, and glass shards. Let's see what you have in here. Mm -mm. Nothing. All right, I'll go wandering then. I feel like it maybe wants me to do something. Add to your to-do list. To-do list. Where is that? Maybe it's in here. Pretty bulbs. Ah, I worked it out. Okay. Uh, gather items from the abandoned car behind the garage. Right, that was tough to work out, actually. Search the toolbox by the garage door for a pry bar. Okay. 
There's a mechanics kit. The pry bar. And some duct tape. Equip pry bar. Into my hand. There we go. Pry open the trunk. Got it. Okay. We have plastic and road flares. <laughs> Gather items from the car. Search the dumpster. Friendly dumpster. Scrap the abandoned car's wheels. Panels and doors. How do we scrap? Oh, uh... Threw my bar away. Didn't realize I could throw that. Okay, what do we have here? Ah! I broke my bar. Okay, that's not... <laughs> Damn it. No. <laughs> I did the wrong thing. What's all this? Scrap stuff. Oh, this is the scrap... <clears throat> Don't worry about it. Hopefully we don't need a pry bar again. Gather items. Uh, check the ground and the trunk for the remaining materials. Okay. Gonna be a bit crafty in this one. Right. Craft a crude door. I'll take a bit of survival and crafting. That's fine. Crude door. Craft. It on. Nice new door. Get repair putty from the locker. The spare tire and first aid kits in here too. My inventory is looking a little full. Repair the car body. Equip the repair putty. Equip. Repair the car. Slop. This panel's nearly had it. Okay, so you just like throw this on. And then it goes up, does the whole thing. <gasps> it looks really nice now it's getting repaired. I mean, nicer. Alright. repairing. Uh, the wheels. Look a little busted. The bumper. I mean, I may as well repair the whole thing. I'm pretty sure this is how mechanics do it, right? Examine the tire. Ceiling kit. Repair the flat by crafting and using a ceiling kit or replace the flat with the spare tire in the locker. Well, let's craft one. A ceiling kit. Ceiling kit. Craft it up. Oh, look at that. Nice little tool. Crouch down as you do. All fixed. We've got a loose wheel. Equip mechanics kit. Which was that one. Oops, sorry. Equip. <laughs> I 
Man, I could be a mechanic. This is easy. Outfit the car. Install cardboard boxes in the trunk. Inventory floor. Just hold it in your hands, then. Okay. Install craft mat. Nice. We can do this out of the back oh, of our car once we're on the road. There's a little prototype of mine in the garage. The arc device. Hook it up to your car, wherever it'll fit. The arc device. Wherever it'll fit. Passenger seat. Wow. This beauty won't just be your tour guide. It's your North Star and the only way back to safety. Heck, you should consider it the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit if you plan on staying alive. That's how important this thing will be to you. Yes, that's my very own invention. I'll tell you more about it if you live long enough to use it. Thanks. Get first aid kits from the locker. Store items in the trunk. Okay. Steel sheet. Put the first aid kits in there. Repair putty. Bunch of ingredients. Duct tape. And the scrapper tool? I'll have the scrapper tool in my hands. Can I make another um, pry bar? Because that seemed kind of important. There we go. Pick up the gear blueprint by the garage door. Whoa. Uh, impact hammer. Man reads really close. Fill the fuel tank. Use the pump. Ah, oh, here we go. Another fun thing to do as a kid. Throw the switch to charge the battery. Oh. If you're all set, take a look at the projector against the wall. Projector against the wall. This is the zone. Within these borders, all matter has lost the ability to hold a constant physical state. What that means is the shape, size, and makeup of just about everything constantly changes. A mile of grass can turn into ten miles of swamp in the blink of an eye. Hmm. And it does. Constantly. It's caused by something we call instability. We're completely surrounded by it, and once you've watched it chew through entire mountain ranges, you'll understand that you don't want to get anywhere near it. We can only survive in here within pockets of stability. That's what you're standing in now. And that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. If we're going to find you a way out of the zone, you'll need to build a new antenna. Until then, you won't be able to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. So, you've got to go hunting for parts, and that means taking a drive. Go on, pick a route. The arc device in your car will then show you where you need to go. Three hours. Is that... So this is where I am, and this is where I'm going. Off you go. Make a left out of the garage and follow the access road. Okay, I kind of get the idea, I guess. Get in the car. I think she's just eager for us to get out of here. Oh, he turned me around automatically. Thanks. Oh, I should, uh... Oh, no, the front thing just opened. That's... I know how stuff works. Right, this way. Bye. Thanks for the help. So now I have a little mini-map to look at. I've got this telling me how my car's doing. Select the next stop. So then we travel. Q. 
Okay. Damp forest. So I'm wondering if this is sort of one of those every time we go to a new spot, okay, it's different. It Don't want to overwhelm that little brain of yours. You'll need a few things to rebuild the antenna at the garage. First on the list is plasma. The woods are littered with plasma generators. Look for a research trailer or a spark tower. But that's those antenna things zapping you when you get too close. Both are always accompanied by plasma generators. So we need to explore an area and get stuff and then get out of there, I would assume. The Arc device is picking up on some plasma generators nearby. Your headset has a built-in scanner. Use it on the plasma generator and it'll figure out the tools you need. Put it in park. Okay, find and scan a plasma generator. This looks little this looks kinda plasmary. Plasmarific. Ah, looks like it's ripe for the picking. Can't get at it with your hands, though. An impact hammer will do the trick. Ah. Perhaps I should craft one of those in the back of my car. Okay, so I need a gas cylinder and some gears. Can I go in here? I have a light. Maybe I have to, like, craft a flashlight. A toilet. Oh, there's a locker. Fabric. Kind of hard to see in there. Look at you! Out in the zone, all on your own. They grow up so fast, don't they? And I'll be back at the helm. Been a long time, old gal. Didn't think we'd, uh, talk again after that whole Sasquatch incident. Yes, I was hoping to go another decade without hearing your voice again. What did you finally talk Francis to death? Hello to you too, Oppie. And no, I'm still here. Okay. Gas cylinders, that's what we want. And some chemicals. Can I, like, turn it on? Oh, maybe I scrap it. Ah, that's what these are for. Got it. Maybe this is when I'm meant to throw road flares out, because I cannot see a thing. Hang on, road flare, equip. <laughs> Put this somewhere else. What am I? That doesn't sound good. Hey, uh, uh driver. I bet you're dying to hear all about the remnants by now. Scared okay, me. Not. I'm a little busy trying to keep them alive. I'll keep to the basics, I promise. They deserve to know what they're getting into. Fine. I'm giving you 60 seconds. That is not nearly enough time to get... 55 seconds of counting. Okay, okay, okay. The remnants, in short, they're old objects that do all sorts of weird things. They, they bind themselves to people, and, and you're the latest victim. You and the car are inseparable now, so, so get acquainted. Once the remnant is bound to someone, they become gradually more obsessed with it. It takes over the victim's mind what? until they go crazy and run off into the zone with it. No one has ever been able to resist its siren call. That fixation is probably worming its way into your brain as we speak. This is the first time we've ever got our hands on one. Uh, but we know all about the past remnants, and oh gosh, this one time it materialized as an old copper kettle, and the tea that came out of that thing, it was... And now I'm splitting the transmissions going to your receiver. Anything critical to your immediate needs will broadcast directly and immediately to your radio and headset. Anything not mission critical will be on a low priority frequency. Those transmissions will be recorded and indexed for you to listen to at your leisure. And by low priority, I mean just about everything that comes out of Tobias's mouth. Oh, maybe I can craft a gear. As a... 
Ah, yes, I can. Perfect. Let's make a couple of those. And then I can make an impact hammer. Yes. Now we can collect plasma. So it sounds like my mind is going to be taken over by a car. What is that? What is that? There's creatures in this? I smashed both the plasmas here. Maybe I gotta uh, drive and get some more from somewhere else. There'll be some more down here. Suddenly feeling a little bit more vulnerable. What? Ah! What the hell? Can I get in before it arcs? It's arcing over there now. Hit it! Get the plasma and run! Looks like you're near one of the old Gorilla radio stations. That ought to be prime pickings for antenna parts. I've loaded its approximate location to your map. Look for an antenna tower uh, up on a hill somewhere. Go, go, go. Okay, and then that stops it arcing. Don't think, just do. And I... What? What does that mean? Does that mean it's time to go? I think that means it's time to go. still there. Incoming transmission. Oh, shit. My, my. Where are our manners? Uh, driver, we never introduced ourselves. Not really. Tobias Barlow, former Artem maintenance manager. Oh, and um, here with me is Dr. Francis Cook. I was a R&D scientist researching limb technology right here in the zone. We live Right in the mid zone, just just a hop, skip, and a jump over another big old wall from where you're at. Oh, and and that old bat over there? That's Dr. Ophelia Turner, former director of research and development herself, the mother of limb technology, the maven of electromagnetism. That's enough. Resident party pooper. Okay, find an antenna on a hill. She said. for a radio station. Uh. That's not good. That's... Nope. That's not good. Grab 
grab you and throw you at the wall. You get damaged. need lots of flares or make a flashlight. Can I make a flashlight? A light? That's for the car, I think. Bulb. <laughs> Let's see my can yet. I'm all out of flares. Let's keep going. What did I put some in my... Yes, I did. Jurassic Park. Okay, we got some cylinders, chemicals, some more lockers and loot, some bits and bobs, and a flare to replace the one that I used to search in here. Oh, isn't that lovely? Oh, they do not last too long. cabinet in here with a bunch of goodies. My flare already went out. Oh, sorry. We're already in drive. Hold on tight, kids. Let's get to the radio station. What's that? Could that be it? Seeing an orange light. Should we take a look? It said something about something on a hill. Maybe I shouldn't take the car up here. Seems to be going okay. Maybe here will do. Let's probably check how I'm doing for fuel. Okay, that's not a station, it's a checkpoint. What it does, who knows? How am I for fuel anyway? Where do you see that? Okay, spin around. Maybe it's this. Put your hands in the air if you want to go faster. Dan's petrol station. Yeah, I'm Big Dan. If you need petrol, come in. I would stop, but I think I'm good. I just want to, like, get to the, uh, radio station. Get that. Nope, I think it's further up. I think it's the yellow thing. Right. What? Uh... Test dummies, or are they 
people. Mannequins. Anomalies. A tourist. Christina, how are you? It turns out you're right. We've had reports from several regions of the zone now, and they're all similar. We have these dummy things out in the wilderness. We have them inside abandoned houses. We have them at gas stations, on the road. Report says on a roof. We've sorted about 600. The file catalogs every one. You're quite right about the other things, too. I know what happens when someone touches one. We all got plenty of data on it. I'm going to be applying for a position in Portland now. I've done my review. It's a great time being contracted here, but I'm not sure I want to work at Arda full time, you know, it's a very strange place. Oh god, there's one of them outside. So, don't touch them is what I'm getting. I kind of want to touch one. See what happens. Ah, oh, ah, right, okay, yes, right. Did that one just move towards me? What? Oh! <gasps> I need that. Don't. If I look up. Stop. Stop it. That's. Ah. Uh, oh. Just don't look back. Just don't look back. Just don't look back. Jeez. <laughs> That's actually so scary. Alright, up to the radio. I'm guessing we're circling this around. So cool over there. Right, let's go inside, shall we? Creepy old radio tower. I'm guessing this is it. Where's the door? There's a ladder there, but it's broken off at the bottom. Ah. Time to get moving. The instability's ticking up by the second. But you can't get back the way you came. The instability makes all routes one way. And that's where my arc device comes into play. It'll get you back to the garage, but it needs to be charged first. And to do that, you'll need anchors. Take a look at the arc device display. It maps all anchors in the nearby area. Find an anchor and feed it to the arc device to charge it. Uh, but don't you worry your pretty little head about how it works. You'll be out of here soon, so... There's no reason to learn more about limb technology than you need to know. An anchor? How do I know if it's an anchor? Is it the things that are circled? If so, we'll go down to that one. I guess. And away we go. Turn, turn, turn. Nice. I'm sure nothing terrible is going to happen. <clears throat> okay. Should be up here somewhere, right? Should keep our eyes on those. One, whoa, ah, that's done a lot of damage. Right, there's one just up ahead. 
Is this what I'm looking for? Anchors. Those anchors may look like glowing balls of magic, but it's Limtech through and through. Don't be scared. They haven't exploded in anyone's face recently. Now what? Stop. Whoa! What the hell? Stuff's changing. I got it. Free the anchor. Feed the anchor into the arc device. Uh, car? Hold on. Hold on, car. Collect anchors until the device is charged. Oh, I need more. I don't just need one. There's one just up ahead here. Maybe I should go on foot. I don't know if I want to, like, turn my car right off here. There it is. Activate when you're absolutely ready to leave. You do not want to get caught in the storm that follows. Select gateway coordinates on the map. All right. Storm imminent. Drive into it. What? Yes, it looks like hot death, but it's so much better than getting scrambled by the instant. There's no roads. How do you expect me to make it? On. I'm guessing that is a storm coming behind me. Closing in on me pretty quick. Okay. Good to go. dropped the thing I needed, right? Ah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Do I go back? What do I do?
bring back the antenna part safely. That means through the gateway, newbie. Yeah, I got it, okay. Like, I made a mistake. I didn't realize I would be allowed to leave if I had left core things behind. It's good to know, you know, and I make these mistakes so you don't have to. So you now know that this game isn't gonna hold your hand and if you leave something behind, you leave something behind, okay? That's what I'm here for, okay? You're welcome. Say thank you, Morph, in a comment. Say thank you, Papa. You're so good to us. And we'll go pick up this bloody antenna again. <laughs> then we'll see what happens. I'm sorry, I even read that it's set up there, like mission item drops, and I just thought, uh, I'm sure if it was important, it would tell me. You know? I just thought, oh, it'll be fine. It was not fine. Well. Out for the mannequins. Okay. Check the map. Staying on the road. This way. Now, what I don't want is a head-on collision, because it's looking like the front of my car is having a bit of an issue right now. So we want to take it easy. It's just a nice straight road. Until we get to where we need to be. different to last time. There was some sort of anomaly going on back there at the petrol station. Pretty sure that was not like that last time. Okay, straight up. I feel like this game's going to be really, really nice to play once you know what you're doing and you're almost kind of on autopilot, like just chilling with it. I feel like that's going to be so good. And you're just doing your expeditions, driving around, trying to find stuff. Probably a really good stream game, actually, for live streams. Okay, I'm actually going to park here and run up the hill. I think that might be quicker. Rather than scooching around the slippery road. I'm hoping it's replaced it. It has. Okay, good. So that's Time to get what moving. I needed. The instability's ticking up by the second. Uh, but don't you worry your pretty little head about how it works. You'll be out of here soon. So you think I'm there's pretty? no reason to learn more about limb technology than you need to know. There we go. Alright, so we've got one pretty close. Be alright to just go down here, I think. There we go. We'll buff right out, don't worry about it. Creepy little house. I'm gonna save all the extensive sort of exploring for when the game's fully out. liked doing this so much I thought I would do it twice, you know? I have a flat tire. Something feels busted. I can scan, right? Oh my sweet summer tire. It's okay, or... Mm -mm -mm. Ah, 
need a sealing kit. Or mechanics kit. Let's see if they have anything. That's the broadcast, broadcast transmitter. Let's make sure that's in the boot of my car going nowhere. Mechanics kit. Craft. Equip. Fix up the wheel. Okay. So it's still... Ah, so if I want to fix the flat, I need a ceiling kit. So different kits, it's not just, oh, here's a kit for this. It, it does different things. That makes sense. I like that. Well, I'm just going to chance it, obviously. What were the chances of the ground coming up underneath me that time, then, I wonder? Gates Are they in the same place. Oh, I didn't mean to activate it. I was gonna try and go towards it a little bit. Because I cut it pretty fine last time. I was just trying to set a waypoint. Oh my gosh. And I got a flat tire. You're kidding me. Uh go, go, go. It's coming quick. that gateway would. Hmm. Did I not mention that you're the first human I've sent through that thing? I mean, they're the rodents, but it's not like it's completely untested. But anyway, it worked. So, you should have made it back with everything you collected out there. That's the beauty of the gateway. It's the only way to get back with all your marbles intact. Now, take those parts you found into the back room. I'll let you use my fabrication station. For now. That station will concoct ways for you to rig up anything from roof racks to flare guns. Assembling an antenna with those parts you brought back should be easy as pie. But it requires anchor juice to work its magic, so bring back as many as you can. And just because I haven't used that garage in decades doesn't mean you can trash the place. Mess up my equipment and I'll throw you to the anomaly so quick you'll get whiplash. Be clear. Activate driver's checklist. It's the monitor, right, so it needs repairs, and then break open back room with impact hammer. Ah, okay. Mm, got more space. Fabrication station. Scanning antenna. And there it is. But is it wanted on the roof? Unload your collected materials. Did 
that. Let's get the tires in better condition. ceiling kit. Isn't it that front left wheel? Yeah, that's flat. Now, do I still have some of that putty? And, uh, use canned food. Oh, I can eat. Uh, equip. Eat out again. Now, it wants me to install panels, doors, and bumpers. And what's it saying? Get something from back here. Get the handbrake. Handbrake turns. Flashy, flashy. Ah, all the stuff we need's in here. The bumpers as well. before heading back out. You'll need the space. Tell me about it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where does this go? What did I pick up? Crude panel. Gotcha. If I was a crude panel, I would go... Not here. Back's missing a bumper, right? Okay. Feeling like the front's pr pretty busted. Ah, am I missing a panel there? That's what I'm missing. It's busted. It wants me to make a battery jumper. I need batteries. I dropped those here. Need another one. Okay. Battery jumper. I guess. I just put that in the car and we could put the putty in the car too ah that's where the other putty went gotcha we got first aid kits got my fuel can it actually wants me to charge the battery sorry Is the here? Ah, okay. This is for when we're out and about, I think. In Britain, they call this area the boot of the car, but they didn't win the War of Independence, did they? Now, over 300 million Americans are free to call the back storage of their automobiles whatever they like. How's that for humor? It is the boot, it is not the trunk, it is a boot. What's it about? Um, okay, so that's the recommended driver's checklist. I might be able to still head out if I need pieces. I think. Yeah, it just says select a destination. Alright, so you... I'd like to send you on a one-way trip out of here. Tobias won't let me hear the end of it if I don't test your car for this remnant thing. Get driving. And don't forget to fix up your car as you go. Then we pick another destination and it's off again. I kind of like that. I like this gameplay loop. I'm enjoying this. Oh, wait. Do I need fuel? Whilst we're here, eh? We're almost full, but you know what? If I run out whilst I'm out there, that's not 
going to be any fun, is it? Signing abilities. Handbrake. Skid on demand. With one swift tug of a lever, lock up the car's rear wheels. Got him. Just want to hit space. We handbrake now. See that sick drift? for our first real drive. You need to survive oh. in here long enough to find a way out. And you can't do that without learning what to avoid. Okay. Why don't you make use of that headset scanner on your drive? Learn a thing or two while you're at it. Will do, mummy. I mean... <laughs> our first real drive that's kind of off rails, as I would say, without the uh, tutorial stuff. You ever accidentally call your teacher mum? It's so embarrassing. What's this stuff? gonna hurt? Yes, it is. And I fell straight back into it. Okay, so this stuff gives us a little lift, you know? Oh my god, please. I need to stop getting bounced up and down on this. That back wheel. Oh, gosh. I love that it's raining. Whoa. You know, it's starting to feel like now that I know I don't really have to super stick to the roads and that this can actually drive pretty well off of them, it's like a survival game in a car, pretty much, you know? It's different, I like it. Okay, shall we have a, um, a little butchers at the map here? Coming up on a tower of some kind, and a couple of houses there in the middle. I'm guessing that's this thing? Or is it this thing? Let's get some loot. It's Arda's fault. Goodies. Anything else in here? Forgive the darkness. I just don't want to use a road flare for a very small house. Oh, I really gotta hold it. It's not one of those push button ones, right? Oh. Ah, the plasma's already gone on it. Okay. I should check that tower out. It looks kind of interesting. It stopped raining, so we'll turn the wipers off, not the car itself. And it's a broken down truck there. Let's take a look. Wow! Oh, thought I was going to get through that in time. Investigator truck. You can look in the back. Dumpster pearl. Slice a pearl in half. You find thousands of layers of precious materials formed around a core. Break one of these apart. Who knows what will pop out? No 
fuel. It's not gonna hit my car, right? They just sort of pop up out of nowhere. Now is this something I can get inside? Or climb up? This seems to be a um tower. Okay. This electric's making me nervous, so let's move the car. Let's see what that fuss is all about. Looks like some sort of sci-fi treehouse platform. glowing over here too. A fuel pump. Oh. Don't let these junctions fool you. They're as moody as the rest of the zone and will turn on you in a second. Okay. Most junctions are pit stops on the way to other destinations. Only some are stable enough to open a gateway without collapsing in on itself. Each is needy in their own way and must be treated accordingly. Feels like we should move, doesn't it? The Octavice needs different charge levels to overcome the conditions for a gateway. You'll have to feed anchors to the Octavice until it's satisfied, and she'll tell you how many she needs at any given time. Will she? Uh... I guess I'll grab this one now so it's done. She wants more, and those mannequins are please going to drive. We need to move. Things have begun appearing around us. And let's just get a little bit of distance here between us and all of that electricity and the mannequins. And just a lot of anomalies happening there. Man, actually driving off-road is damaging my car. My left front panel is gone. Gooch our way over to these houses. I think... If, wait, is there a road? If I come down... There's actually, like, no roads here. This is just full on a hill. We're just driving through a forest. You can just see the roads at the top and the bottom, I think. Maybe this is a road coming up here, like a dirt track. Is this the best we got? Should be a little further to the left. Should be right in front of me, whatever it is. I think it's a topography like line, or whatever those things are. Oh. Those things are called for how high the land is. Jeez. Take it easy, baby. We 
be skidding. Ah, so this mud is very, very slippy, actually. Let's go ahead and go to this other circle and get the old golden ball. Let's check this house first. Crazy noise. Just wanted me to keep scanning stuff, right? What am I. Hang on, is there something around the back? What is. all of that? menacingness going on. Take that phone. What does that mean? I'm so smart, dude. There we go. This should be enough to get us out of there. I actually think I've got enough of these now. Now, the panel is pretty much dead. But I can repair it. Nice. Was the last of the putty. That should be enough. Yoink. All right. She's the storm's coming. The storm is coming. The storm is coming. Okay. Um, so how do I do? We have enough to get out. Link, hang on. What's? I don't have a link gateway yet. Do I? And the storm is here. We need more. What? Uh. Do we not have enough? to look at it and then it was I don't think we have enough okay better book it I 
it says open a gateway using the arc device, right? And then it's not saying I need anymore, but usually on here it would show me where I was supposed to go. And then the storm would start. circles and see what happens. If the storm even lets us get there in time. Okay. And straight ahead of us. It's another one of them. This one. Oh, slow it down. Ah, oh no. Um, oh, shoot. What do I do with that? Activate emergency teleporter walking vehicle. All right. is that storm now. It's right behind us. And there it is. Right? Is that the gateway? <gasps> Mannequin. I think that might be it. I'm not seeing the big orange thing. Okay. I don't know what that is. Everything's so mysterious. see it. I mean, it's outside of the storm now, but what option do I have? I have to go through it. Oh, I got zapped. Is that it? Seeing some orange? Six percent health, five percent. I have no idea if that was it. I don't know why I didn't get to link a gateway, gateway that time. A gateway. <laughs> Damn. That's pretty intense, though. Great. I found a stabilized road for you. Ready to make this remnant verification a one and done thing? Oh my god, look at how I'm we're leaning to, to the side. If that old anomaly doesn't induce electromagnetic resonance in your car, then we're free from Tobias's fever dreams and we can get you out of here. 
You've got a stable route heading straight to Cappy's front door. Absolute state of it. I advise you not to take the zone lightly. You better gear up or you may not survive the trip. That will help Which up would really make my well. life easier, so your call. Thank you for watching. Please do let me know what you thought of this one in a comment. I would love to hear if you want to see more of this one, or just check out those videos on the screen and we can go on another adventure right now. Until next time, thank you and good night.